Despite having a whole host of new features, the Mark II Kraken retains the same core sounds that made the Mark I so popular, specifically the British voiced crunch on gain one and the American voiced articulate high gain on gain two. Now to get the sounds from our Mark I out of our Mark II, we switch the presence shift switch off and turn our presence control down to zero. While we typically think of gain one as a crunch channel, it can actually get pretty heavy too, especially if you turn the gain all the way up and you use a guitar with hot pickups like these Fishman Fluence Devon Townsends. <laughs> And in this configuration, gain one set full is about equivalent in terms of gain to gain two set at 12 o'clock, but with a different, fatter and fuller and more British inspired voice. However, you can still get a ton of gain out of gain two, even if you have lower output passive pickups by using an overdrive pedal like the classic green TS overdrive to boost your signal. <laughs> With the gain set to 12 o'clock, the clean channel on the Kraken Mark II produces a beautiful, pristine clean with that signature victory warmth. And that's true whether we're using humbuckers. <laughs> or single coils. And if you turn the gain back to about nine or 10 o'clock, you can get that same pristine clean, even with hot active pickups. But don't be afraid to crank it up all the way for some sweet bluesy lead tones. While the clean channel on the Mark II Kraken has plenty of sparkle, there isn't a harsh bright cap in there that can upset some pedals. This means it does equally well with either a green style TS overdrive. <laughs> a mid-focused fuzz face style fuzz. Or even something completely over the top like this HM2. In addition to the Kraken Mark II is a presence control. Now, unlike the treble, middle and bass controls, which affect the frequency response of the preamp stage, the presence control acts on the power amp. So let's take a listen to how it affects our clean sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
how it affects the crunch sound. And how it affects gain two, which is where we're going to hear the effect of this control most prominently. <laughs> And if you want the sound of the original Mark 1 Kraken, which didn't have a presence control, just set the presence to zero. The presence shift switch removes a lot of negative feedback from our power amp stage. This is a little like the vintage modern switch that you may have seen on some other high gain amplifiers. It makes the amplifier more bold, more forward, and a little bit brighter. Let's take a listen to how it affects our sound with the presence set to zero. Again, with the present set to 12. And finally, with the presence set to full. Now, with the presence dialed this high, the effect is going to be less noticeable, but let's take a listen anyway. The bass focus switch adjusts the negative feedback in the power amp stage, acting specifically on the low frequencies, which is great for tightening up low tuned instruments like this drop A tuned baritone guitar. But it can also be really useful for tightening up the expansive low end in gain one, especially with the gain control turned all the way up. The new master assign function allows us to assign master volume 1 to clean and gain 1 and master volume 2 to gain 2. we can unassign the master volumes so all three channels work from a single master. And this allows us to take advantage of the foot switchable master volumes to get the same three sounds at two different volume levels. The clean and crunch modes on gain 1 share a single gain pot, and set to 12 o'clock, this produces a good balance between the two tones.
However, if you like to run the gain very high, this can produce a clean sound that's way louder than a crunch sound. Or if you like to run the gain very low on the crunch sound, the clean can be practically inaudible. The Mark II Kraken fixes this with the Gain 1 balance control, which allows you to adjust the overall volume of the clean channel to compensate for where you've set your gain control. So whether you turn it up nice and high, or you like to run the gain very low, you can dial the perfect balance between your clean and crunch modes. The foot switchable options on the Mark II Kraken are as follows. You can switch between the clean and crunch modes of gain one. You can also foot switch between gain one and gain two. You can switch between the two master volumes if you don't have them assigned using the master assign switch. And lastly, there's a foot switchable solo function which overrides all of the other switch settings and takes you straight to gain two and master two for an instant high gain solo with a volume boost.